Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So uh, in this video, there's gonna be the introduction of a new uh, little series I want to build around the Ant uh, ORM framework for Go. Uh, and I just want to show you how awesome is this library. So for this video, that's gonna be just an introduction and we're gonna go over the docs. But for the, uh, the other video, we're gonna have like some pet project where we can learn more about how to use it and stuff like that. So uh, Ant, is a Facebook open source project. Uh, and this thing looks pretty awesome if you like to have like a ORM first and also if you like to have your code um, becoming like your database layer and stuff like that. What I mean by that, it's uh, you're gonna manage all the uh, SQL stuff from the code side. It's kind of code first thing and I really love it. So if you go here in the docs, first thing we already see with this awesome framework is the, the fact they have a really good uh, docs. And I really love it because of this. After that, as you can see in the quick introduction, is the fact uh, here are the, the finally uh, some of the stuff why they, uh, they, they build it. But one of the things I really like is this thing like a static typing base of code generation. So in Go, we have a lot of plays where we do a lot of uh, code generation and, and uh, use this thing. For some people, uh, sometimes this feel like uh, overwhelmed because you get like, I don't know, like 2000 line of code coming from nowhere. But by doing this, you, you, you get like your static type and like it's easier after that to, uh, you, you do not have finally this empty interface and stuff like that. So it's pretty nice to have this thing. And one thing I also la like is this thing, database queries and graph traversal are easy to write. So they, uh, they made it like qu quite easy to work with relation. And yeah, this is one of the thing I really love about them. About the installation and stuff like that, we're gonna go over all of that uh, in uh, the next video. But if you want to see how that gonna looks like, uh, when you init, example, a user with your ant, uh, this is what you're gonna get uh, inside your ant um, folder schema. And here you're gonna have your user go. But here, as you can see, you start with the user struck who finally uh, get inject all the ant schema stuff. You're gonna have here your fields and edge. So fields is gonna be what you have as a colon in the database. And the edge is gonna be any kind of relationship and stuff like that. So here, what they show, it's example in field for the user, you have an integer H with the positive stuff. So that means it cannot be negative and they have a string called name and you can put some default value. So as you can see here, they're gonna become just plain colon in SQL and it's pretty nice for that. After that, when you generate, this is where finally you can get overwhelmed with the code generation. You're gonna get a lot and a lot of code, but they, uh, this is gonna give you a better dev experience. So that the connection and stuff like that, again, we're going to go all over that. I just want to show you how you finally can create a user. So the way you're going to be able to create a user, it's uh, getting the end client. And as you can see, when they uh, uh, have generated the stuff, they give you the client go inside the end package. And this thing here is going to give you a way to create a user. But as you can see, creating a new user is going to give you two methods who finally are generated by the end uh, generator set age and set name. So if, if you remember what was happening is they get those two column name and they create around that some function where you can use it. The beauty of that is finally you get everything type and uh, you can add other logic uh, inside those methods before if you want, but it's really nice for that. After that you save and that's it. And when it's time to query, it's pretty simple. Again, you get the client from the end client pointer. And after that you do the query and here, this is what, one thing I like also, is the fact that you query where the username equal, and now you pass, it, uh, pass whatever value you have. But as you can see, it's already typed. So they have generated this name equal um, query set for you because of the generator. And now with the only, we finally gonna give you, uh, gonna fail if no user found or more than user return. So finally, this thing's gonna give you one user back or if you get no user or more than one user, you're gonna get this error. So for the query stuff and creating stuff, you're gonna love it, trust me on that. In the other video, that's gonna be pretty nice what we're gonna do with that. But here, another thing, it's relationship. So one of the thing, uh, it's kind of painful working without like ORM and stuff like that sometimes is uh, uh, managing relationship. So for the relationship in the end framework, it's pretty simple also because you remember you have the, the fields, but you have also the edge when you're gonna manage your stuff. So here in the tutorial, they just finally init a core in a group. 
you put some fields, so remember the fields or whatever you pass to uh, uh, finally the uh, column from the SQL side. But one of the thing here uh, changing is the fact then uh, in the string name here, you can add already a, ma a match rejects finally. And by doing this, what that means, it's when you're gonna call a set name, when you're gonna want to create a group, they're gonna go against this rejects validation. So it's pretty nice because you can add your validation in this layer also. And on the here, they just want to show you like you can have like a user can have uh, uh, many cores and stuff like that. So here you see the user have an edge and inside this edge, you return a cars and this a car type. And now after that, what, what happened? It's after that when you're gonna be able to create a car, stuff like that. To that, you can just add cars to the user and just by passing the car. So it's really, really nice to add those uh, relationship with that. After that, I'm not going to go over all the tutorial. You can go look at the docs and I'm going to put the link in the description. But some other stuff I really love, it's the eager loading. So eager loading, it's a way for you to finally do not, not getting like the N plus one issue when you're going to go and query a lot of stuff. And one of, one of the things I like, it's I'm coming from like a Laravel and stuff like that, where you have with your Elecan ORM, you have the wit. And with the wit, you can say example wit in this case pet. This way they're gonna do like the uh, um, eager loading with the relationship and they're gonna manage everything for you. But what I like about them here in end, they do the same kind of exact uh, uh, API finally. So finally here, when you get your users, you ask, give me all my user, but also with their pets. So what's gonna happen, it's in the user, in each user struct, sorry about that, you're gonna have an edge struct and inside this edge struct, you're gonna get all your pets loading. So what's gonna happen? It's you're gonna just run that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in two queries. So you're gonna get uh, one query to get all the user, and after that, they're gonna make another query to get all the pets with all the user uh, ID uh, as the owner and stuff like that. So it's really nice. But the, the thing also I like about that is you can also do this kind of query with that. So example, you want to get all the groups. Here you get a callback function where you have the ants group query, but here it's where you can say, hey. Give me all my, give me the groups, but give me only five of them. But also you want to populate. So finally you want to eager load the, each group. So what's going to happen is you're going to have the, all the admin user with all their pets, with all the groups, uh, five groups, sorry. And each group is going to have all these, uh, finally five users. Sorry about that. So it's going to become pretty net stead, but pretty nicely, um, pretty nice API to get this thing it's going on. And as you can see that, and because of my channel, you already know I like kind of GraphQL and stuff like that. They already have made a GraphQL integration with GQL Gen. And because of what you've just seen with the girl loading and stuff like that, it's really nice to plug that with uh, GQL Gen. So this is one of the things I really like about that. Crud API, it's pretty simple. You can create, you can delete, you can do whatever you, you want with that. But what I like also, it's batch creating, batch update, and batch delete. I love it so much. Uh, doing this in plain SQL, I mean, I, I, I've done it a lot, but you have many ways of doing this. Like uh, you can like uh, interpolate some string and stuff like that, but it become pretty messy. And with some other ORM, you do not have this batch update and whatever you hear. So again, this thing, it's pretty nice to have it for free. Another thing I like is the hooks. So hooks, finally, it's an option to allow custom logic before and after operation. So example, I don't know, like you want, after user is create, you want to, I don't know, like uh, when the user is create, finally, you want to add the password and stuff like that. So you can do a lot of the thing from here. Uh, it's you, if you want to plug more logic to this ORM layer, because now uh, they're going to manage much more than just uh, creating stuff, but it's something you can do. And one other thing I also I like, it's, I do a lot of, I don't do, but I like to use a lot of transaction when it's time to mutate my data. And the fact that they let you having transaction pretty easily, it's really nice to have. And the last thing I really love, it's maybe uh, some of you have a question about that, but example, if you want to custom uh, the name of the table, if you want to custom some of the metadata and stuff like that, you can do all that with the annotation stuff here. So example, uh, here, when you create a user, you want to change the table name to be user with uppercase U. You can do this if you want. If, example, if you want to change the foreign key, uh, whatever example here, in this case, they say on uh, the post, on delete, uh, they want to cascade. So you can change it all from there. So 
And Go gonna come with a lot of generation. They're gonna have a lot of kind of convention from how they do it. But you can always kind of modify the stuff you need there. And if you ask about index, they have everything for you. So here I just put uh, in craft uh, about the end. So I just say like what is end, why you will use it. But what I like here, like I just show you, and this thing awesome docs and tutorial. So this is the thing when we get and use a library, it's when the docs are not so great, you're gonna get so many issues with that because now that's gonna be time where you're gonna want to do something who's gonna be outside of maybe the range of the library and stuff like that. And you're gonna get kind of lost. And that's when you need to read like the library code and stuff like that. But from what I've seen by using it, like I don't send an expert in Ant, but from what I've used it, I never really get any issue because the docs have everything I need for. And it's really nice. And the tutorial, if you go to the docs and you go to the tutorial uh, section, you have a lot and a lot of stuff. So it's really, really nice. So for continuing this series, in the next video, we're gonna just build some kind of pet project um, just to see how everything is working and stuff like that. And um, we're gonna play with like eager loading. We're gonna play with uh, uh, relation and stuff like that. So you're gonna be able to see all that work. It's not like an expert level tutorial. It's going to be just like a beginner, more like an introduction to this library. So I hope you enjoy and let me know in the comments if you have used this uh, library and if this is something you're excited about to see uh, more video in this uh, channel. Bye, everyone.